morning. Today, we are going to talk about how to raise your productivity. I'm coming to you live from Barcelona. Actually, I'm coming to you live from an area called Ra in Spain, which is near the town of A. Vendre. A. Vendre. And, uh, you know, if you phonetically would uh, pronounce it uh, the English way, it will be El Vendrell. It's about 40 kilometers or 30 miles um, southwest along the coast from Barcelona. I'm here to meet up with a bunch of rugby guys on Friday. My regular old boys team, Guazula Old Crocs, and we are going to play two games on Saturday. I have lots of fun. Uh, enjoy the huge, big festival in Barcelona. And then um, take sightseeing, see all the things from Gaudi, the famous architect, go to the beach next week a little bit. Um, at another resort, come back for next weekend and play some more. But now I'm at the Le Meridian Hotel in Ra, excuse me, in a fabulous place. I had a fantastic massage. It's called the Thalassic Massage. And um, it's uh, somewhere where, it's, uh, where they, they, they scrub your whole body with salt and seaweed stuff. And then they coat you in seaweed, wrap you in it, and then... You shower it all off and then you get a real good massage with oils and stuff afterwards. Tomorrow I'm doing a combination of Thai and Swedish and uh, the day after I'm going to do an Ayurvedic massage, which I hear is absolutely fantastic. Now guys, listen, also, I have been very quiet the last two weeks and the reason is good is that I went to South Africa and I went to see my mom and spent maximum amount of time with her. And I also took a break from it. You would remember that I did a series of videos about vacationing and how you can vacation while your work can still go on if you have assistance and people like that, but how it's also important to take a break and spend time with the people that's most important to you, which is my 85-year-old mother. And on top of it, where I was most of the time, the Wi-Fi either sucked <laughs> or the cell phone signal wasn't strong enough to do live videos. And so... It's about a two week sabbatical year since you guys have seen me do a video. And I want to let you know that it's okay. It's okay if that is happening in your life. And you can also, you know, take some time off and spend time with the most loved ones. So today we are talking about how to dramatically increase your productivity. But the major tip of increasing your productivity, and this is the part where we can learn so much from the Europeans is to take enough vacation and to take regular vacations. You thought I was going to say work harder. Nope. I'm not saying that. You thought I was going to say work smarter. Nope. We've all heard that. What I'm going to tell you is to take regular breaks from time to time. Take some time off during the week and have some quiet time for yourself as I'm doing these three days for myself. Also take some time off with your family or if you're a single person every two three months three months go away for a weekend and that weekend don't work don't think about work just relax whether this whether you're going camping or you're staying in a hotel laying by the pool or whatever it is that you do um, or hiking in the mountains and then on a very regular basis at least once a year but preferably twice a year I want you to take a vacation and you can say to me that that is not important. It is not a priority. Now, I'm going to ask you this one thing. Is your health your priority? Is your spouse's health your priority? So let me tell you guys this. 50% it's if, a, if a woman in America vacations two weeks a year, it cuts her risk of heart attack by 50%. Guess what's the number one killer of women? Stress, heart attack, heart disease. But it's all to do with heart disease. Men cuts it by 30%. So if you tell me that it's not a priority and you cannot afford it, then you are not valuing your spouse, period. And you are not valuing your time together. You're working yourself to death. You say there's no money for anything. Then I'm saying to you, adjust your priorities. 
if there's no more money in your vacation and your budget to go on a vacation every year look guys i don't care yes i sell vacation ownership but even if you go camping for two weeks i don't care if you do and if you do two weeks at a time or preferably breaking it up and taking time off every two or three but you have to plan it and it has to be in your budget if your budget cannot make it and if you person that like nice resorts and nice places to go to that cost more money put it in your budget if that money so you can say to me well but i have house payments i have bills i have college blah 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 all of that maybe your house is too big or your mortgage is too high you know maybe um you're spending too much money on eating out maybe you should take a look at that cup of starbucks that you're already, already drinking maybe you should take a look at that um at um that pack of soda of that six pack of beer that you're buying every week guys and and yeah i'm sure if you get offended by what i'm saying please go for it and give me some hate mail i love have, having haters because that means i'm stirring the spot but i'm telling you that if you tell me that it's not a priority as my one friend told me that's not a priority and i said to him so you don't prioritize your wife's health or your health and I look at so many people who don't regularly vacation and I look at them, how old they have become and, and how, how, how rigid they have become in their ways. But they, you, they physically, they get old. They, I mean, we all get old, but they just seem to have aged a lot. And that's stress. It's because you're not relaxing. So what in the heck does this have to do with productivity? Absolutely everything. Because if you do take the time off, then like I suggest, then when you are at work, you will work harder, you will work smarter, you will, your head will be clearer, you will be less stressed, and your production will go way up. Period. End of story. Take care. I'll report from Barcelona later this week. Aloha and God bless.